Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois, and I cannot wait to show you this all new 2021 Forest River Cherokee Arctic Wolf 3880. It is a sweet addition. Let's go ahead and take a look around it. So first and foremost, right here at the front of the unit, you have a huge storage space, exterior storage space. This is also called a basement for a camper. Um, you do have outlets over here along with cable and satellite hookups. And right here, you could actually run your power cord through in case your hookup is on the opposite side. Nice, large lighted and power awning. There's also outdoor speakers. Does have the glass door, the new glass doors. It's, I'm actually in love with them. Tons of slides on this unit. So it does have a nice wide floor plan. You've got your LB quick connect right there. You've got a luggage rack on the back. Over here is your connection for your power. You got a storage space here. Again, multiple slides. You do have an outdoor shower. Here's all your water connections and a light so that you're not out here in the dark trying to figure out what you're doing. Here's the other side of the pass-through. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so we're gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna start off here in the main living space. Uh, again, you have multiple slides on this unit. Your main living space does have opposing slides, which means that it opens up the center space more to allow for this gorgeous island. It does have four stools. You've got a USB port and an outlet there. And on the opposite side, you do have a cabinet. Now on your sofa slide, as you can see, it's got so much seating, it's ridiculous. Um, there are multiple cup holders in this unit, or in this uh, sectional here. So you've got this one, those two, and that one over there. You've got a storage compartment in that one uh, with the end cup holders. You have to be plugged into shore power on these ones, but it does have a massage setting. It does have LED lights, so it lights up this cup holder and all along the base of the couch. And then it also has a heat setting and each one of these seats reclines. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Nobody's fighting over the recliner in this one. You could put so many sleeping dads in this unit, it's not even funny. Again, you do have a storage compartment right here. Great place to store your remotes. It's got the zebra blinds, which it has been raining today, so I had them open, but you can let a little bit of light in, no light in, or all of the light. Back here at the end of the unit, you do have some cabinetry up top. Me being 5'4", I'd probably store the things that I don't use very frequently. Down here, you've got a fold-out sofa. So you would just take these back cushions off, lift this out. There are legs underneath it. You fold them out. Fold the back of the couch, so after you take the cushions off and you fold the seat down, you would fold this section down and it makes a bed here. You do have uh, side tables on each side along with USB ports and outlets. You've had some sconces there, some overhead lighting. And then over here on your opposite slide, you've got your TV uh, mount. So you would mount your TV here. You've got some cabinetry behind your TV. If you put a swivel mount here, um, then you would have access to this nice deep storage space here. And it looks like, oh, it's got the blue LED lighting. Down below that, you do have a nice little fireplace that's great for those cool fall nights when it's, you know, 40, 50 degrees out. 
This will keep this main living space nice and toasty. Again, large pantry. Tons of storage space in here. And it does have the frosted glass with the word pantry on it. Over here, you've got a high point microwave and a three burner graystone stovetop and oven. And then down below, you do have a matching drawer, which is a great place to store your pots and pans. Over here, you do have a Canon refrigerator and freezer. This does run off of 12 volt. Up above the sink, you've got tons of cabinet space. Do have a large single basin apron front sink. It's got the hand sanitizing station and a pull down sprayer. You get some extra drawers and cabinets down here and dividers in one of these drawers so that you can sort your silverware. There are USB ports and outlets all over this unit. Now I wanna show you in here, this is the bunk room. So what's great about this bunk room, it has two double bunks with the teddy bear mattress. Get the teddy bear on it. It's got the ladder. You've got a place to mount your TV over here and some shelves. Now, you're looking at this room and you're thinking, Vicki, I need more storage in here. Let me take care of that. So what you would do is you'd lift the ladder off here and it's very easy. The bed raises up and you've got extra storage underneath the bed. This is also the position you'd need it in for when you're running the slides in to travel with. There's also USB ports and outlets, one down here below for the lower bunk and one up above for the upper bunk. Go ahead and let this back down. There is a light for the lower bunk and lights for the upper bunk as well. Taking a look upstairs, here's your bathroom. So you've got a nice large shower. It's got the brick look. You've got a skylight overhead, which offers a little more headroom. And over here, you do have a toilet. On the opposite side, you've got your vanity, good size vanity, and medicine cabinet. Let's go ahead and take a look in the bedroom. So in here, of course you got your bed. There is storage underneath the bed. There are a couple of tables for the recliners underneath the bed as well. Back here in this corner, you do have a closet. What's great about this closet, you got some storage space up top, place to hang some clothes, but there's also an extra closet. So if you needed to put a washer and dryer in here, you have the ability to do so. There's also USB ports and tons of outlets in here. And you get some more storage st storage space down below. Over here is your closet. So on the far left here, you've got some shelving. Inside, you got a place to hang your clothes and more shelving. You've also got some storage space down below the shelving. So you can store things that you don't use very frequently down there. And over here, you do have a dresser and just above the dresser, you can mount a TV. If you'd like to see this unit in person, Come check it out at Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. Or you can visit us online at www.tristaterv.com. Like and subscribe to this video and give us, you can follow us on all of the new units that we get in stock along with the pre-owned units.